Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Agents of Dreamland by Caitlin R. Kiernan, and this is from Tor. There's Tor with her little little rocket ship. A little tiny novella. It's the first of three, I believe. And I would call this uh, kind of X-Files meets H.P. Lovecraft. I don't know if anybody else would put it that way. That's how I'm putting it. Because we've got secret government agencies, uh, but we also have cosmic horrors. Uh, so our main character is this agent of a secret government organization. He's known simply as the Signalman. And he is... Uh, we start out, he's at a diner waiting to meet with an agent of a different secret organization so they could trade information on this cult. And, excuse me, they uh, that happens. But the story jumps from the signalman to a cult member. We're getting this uh, third person when we're with the signalman. But this cult member is, uh, we've got first person writing when we're, we've got this cult member. And things are jumping around in time. Uh, the, uh, the, the agent, the female agent from the other organization, um, I believe it's her, can, yes, it's definitely her. She can sort of untether herself in time. So there's a, there's a part where she's in... Uh, private jet flying home or wherever she's flying to her body's there but her consciousness sort of is just bouncing around and so we're getting all of these different things all of this sort of history of things and uh, it is straight up HP Lovecraft there are uh, there's some name dropping of Lovecraftian things some things are just hinted at some things are just straight up said and so it's this very bizarrely written, maybe I shouldn't say bizarrely written, bizarrely told, because the writing is fine. The writing is very straightforward. It's the way the story's told. It's a little bizarre. And again, it deals with this, this cult and these agents that know that there are, basically they know of the, the mythos that exists and that this cult is somehow involved and they're trying to figure out what the hell's going on and there are things I want to say but I won't because it will spoil things but it was really really cool um, it's one of those books as soon as I finished it I was like all right I'm putting the other two in the series on my wish list I'm gonna grab them I want to read them um, so yeah the cult is called the Children of the Next Level, and what is what does it say on the back here? Um, seeks out help from other sources. John, uh, the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, uh, loses contact with an interplanetary probe, the New Horizons, and so. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on in here. I don't know how much it's going to tie into the other two books, if it tells, if the three books together tells a cohesive story, or if it's just different adventures of the Signalman. The Signalman? Signalman? Um, but I'll find out, because I'm definitely going to read it. And if you look at that cover, the picture on the cover is meaningful once you've read the book you'll understand what you're looking at on that cover i don't know if that does that give anything away if you haven't read this you're not going to know what the hell i'm talking about i'm pretty sure so um yeah short book difficult to talk about uh as i said the writing really really dig the writing in this and the characters as much as we get to know them because they're almost as mysterious as the uh, the mythos itself, uh, you know, we get hints at who and what they are, what their histories are, but it's not all laid out for us, and it doesn't need to be. 
So it's very well written. I find the characters interesting. I find the mystery of it quite fascinating. And the what's going on, again, I'm trying to avoid spoiling anything. I find what's going on to be really, really interesting. There's a an analogy, I suppose, that works very well. So, yeah, there's some creepy stuff. There's some fun-ish stuff. The relationship between the signalman and the uh, other agent that he meets, I like. It's, um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely going to pick up the other two. So, that should tell you everything you need to know. If not, I'd be like, eh, I won't, I'm not going to bother with the rest. But I absolutely want to read the rest. This is uh, really, really good stuff. So, if you, if you like your H.P. Lovecraft mythos, this is something you're going to want to pick up. If you like something that has... Uh, as I said, an X-Files feel to it simply because of the mysterious government agencies and things. Um, pick it up. If you just want to read a good, creepy, weird horror story, pick it up. Agents of Dreamland. Caitlin R. Kiernan. So, that's it. That's that's what I say. I recommend this book. It was It was really, really good. Great writer question for this video uh you know what yeah i i have one um how do you feel about a book that doesn't answer all your questions um whether or not it's part of a series do you need everything spelled out do you like ambiguity um I guess that's that's enough of a question. <laughs> it's pretty clear. How do you feel about that? Do you want your stuff, everything laid out? For me, it depends on how well it's done. Uh, there are authors that I don't think can pull off the ambiguity, and so it just leaves you wondering what the hell went on. Um, in a book like this, not every little thing is spelled out, but you're given enough that you under, you understand what's going on. You know the basics of, you know, who the signalman is, what his job is, who he's working for, even if we don't have the specifics of all these things. And the same with the cult and everything. We don't necessarily have uh, the history of how the cult started or, or what its ultimate ends necessarily were. Um, but the way it's written, we don't need that. It just leaves us intrigued and it adds to the enjoyment of the book, in my opinion. So I think a good author can pull it off and I don't have a problem with that. I don't necessarily need everything spelled out, but there are authors that can't do it well and it's just frustrating. Um, so yeah, I, some people, I know some people like things that are open for interpretation and they can make their own decisions uh what are your thoughts on that do you do you want everything laid out do you like a little ambiguity let me know in the comments below and if you have any comments questions or corrections please put them in the comments below comments are open for spoilers just post spoiler warning we try to be polite here at the low budget review show uh, please like share and subscribe you know all the youtube stuff and if you'd care to follow me on other social media my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith5757. That's Eric with a K, E R I K S M I T H 5757. Excuse me. That's all I've got. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.